Hi everyone. As some of you may have known, I was on Good Game on the ABC. Well, some of you requested I upload the video, and I've done so. So here it is. Good game. I think it's every gamer's dream to own their very own arcade machine. Well, we caught up with Joel, a hardcore collector who's lovingly restored a mother load of arcade machines at home. Ah! I started collecting arcade machines probably in the late 80s. I got to the point where home consoles weren't enough and I wanted the pinnacle of video games. This is a low boy that was introduced in the early 80s. It's a wood grain type cabinet and you can see it's kind of a bit squashy for two players. So then later on in the early 90s they went to something like this which is called an Astro City and they're really good because you can sit down on them and yeah, a nice big screen. I really feel a connection with the arcade machines because that's what I played when I was younger um, and it just electrified me. I just felt at one with the machine. You're standing up, you have the joysticks, you're not sitting down on the couch like a home console and nothing can go past the moving machines. Also the artwork around the machines, there'd be something walking up and seeing that artwork and it's just nothing like it. The amount of machines I have at the moment would be in excess of 40, um, maybe more. Uh, most of them are at home uh, and some are in storage. They're very, very big, bigger than say a car would be and high, so um, they can't stay with me at the moment. To find the machines that I wanted, I had to literally search overseas home collectors themselves uh, that didn't want to use the game anymore or build it from parts. When I first met Joel about 13 years ago, I remember walking to his grandmother's garage and there was a power drift. And I thought, what the hell is this machine? I've got absolutely no interest. And as soon as I jumped on it and started playing it, I thought, hey, this is a bit of fun to this. And I started to learn to appreciate, I suppose, the interest in the art. But when he started collecting, I actually start to appreciate more the finer detail, the work and the graphics and the history that behind all these machines. These machines are one of my favourites. This is what I really grew up with. They were introduced in 88. They were your real Street Fighter type cabinets um, with your six buttons. And it's very easy to just change the tops of the cabinet and um, play different games. This is a Ninja Turtles dedicated cabinet. I'm currently restoring it. As you can see, the panel's a bit grubby and it needs a bit of love and care. This is my workshop where I repair my arcade PCBs or anything to do with the machines. The PCBs are the printed circuit boards, which is the um, arcade game itself. It just requires a power supply and it has wires coming from the PCB to go to the inputs, which are the joysticks, and also the outputs, which will be the screen and the speakers. Yeah, majority of the PCBs I do have to repair myself because they're obviously they're a lot older. Some of them are 30 years old and they've been through different machines at times, different hands. They corrode and rust and also wear and tear. I don't rush any machine because I want it to be as perfect as it can be, if not new condition like it would have been in its day. This is a space harrier, it's called a rolling type cabinet, which is a full moving cabinet. It moves left, right, back and forth. It's an extremely rare machine. There was only 63 made in the world back in 1985. And apparently there's very few left in the world these days. And I'm very, very lucky to have it. The Space Harrier took me approximately two years and almost working every day on that machine. Every Friday night I have friends come over and we play the arcades and you know, have a pizza and a drink and uh, relax and enjoy. I like to keep the dream alive and have the old school arcade machines. Um, I have a two year old son and I love him to experience what I experienced when I was a teenager. And it's something that 
everyone should really experience in their home. Even just to have one arcade machine there, it's something that we'll never see again. It's quite inspiring to the point that our son's actually become quite a bit of a fanatic with some of these games as well. And it's rewarding to actually see them sharing this common interest and hobby. And I hope they take it forward. Good game. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Amongst other things, we've been doing works with Game Masters. We're involved with donating some arcade machines and some video game consoles. Game Masters is an exhibition held in Melbourne by Acme. It commences on the 28th of June and will be going for around five months. So, I hope you can all check that out. And just to stress again, the 007 episode is on track and it's the next thing you'll see. Bye for now.